This video app review is brought to you by the iPhoneAppReview.com. What's up, everybody? This is Luke Patrick with the iPhoneAppReview.com. Today we're taking a look at a uh, yet another uh, application via video review, and this is yet another addition to the what we've kind of been calling the turn-based online arcade multiplayer game genre, uh, which is a big phrase for something that basically just means sort of like draw something or words with friends. The idea is that it's attached to your... Uh, well, we say usually attached to your Facebook account, um, and then you, you play your turn and then send it off to the next person is kind of how it goes um, in a similar manner to something like Draw Something or Words with Friends. So if you're familiar with those, um, they don't know what's going on here. So uh, essentially, this is the main app interface. We think it actually, um, you know, we've seen a couple other apps that do basically the same thing as far as online trivia. Um, but in terms of trivial, it offers a, a, an amount of shine and polish that we simply don't see with all of the other applications, which means that this app happens to be, um, I would say, is uh, a, a closer to the, the, the feel and draw of something like Draw Something, no pun intended, um, closer than we might have seen with some other applications. So how this works is essentially you're given an IQ, uh, which is sort of like your overall gamer score, I guess. Um, and then you immediately start playing games with your various friends. You can do this in a number of different ways, as is kind of par for the course these days. You can do your Facebook friends, which I have no friends playing, but you can also do a random foe if you'd like. You can also search for a specific username if someone you know has an account um, within the, the application. I'm not sure what just happened there. Um, it is ad-supported in the free edition. The pro version does not have this, so we'll talk more about that in just a second. And if you want settings, etc., you can simply go up here and then uh, they're all in here as well as some additional help information. So enough of that, I'm just going to go ahead and show you how the game works. Essentially, we're going to go to this game that I have open with um, Ad Super 7, who is just a uh, random person I've been playing with, and you hit play um, for round two, and then you go, let's play. So they scored 7,000 points. You go, you're racing against a timer. Um, so this is probably not going to do very well. Um, <clears throat> in terms of uh, me focusing on the application and doing the video review. But you are racing against a timer. You also have a couple of different power-ups at your disposal. Um, for instance, you've got slow-mo, which obviously slows the clock, free pass, and then 50-50. <laughs> um, of course, all of these cost coins and then can be used in-game at will. I mean, you get two power-ups per round, obviously. So you just select them here, and then you're good to go. When you're ready to uh, roll on to the next one, you hit next. And then away the app goes. I'm going to try to do this as well as I can. Um, Florida. Uh, correct answer. Obviously, the more AI answers that you answer correctly, the more points that you will get. Um, so just use the 50-50 power-up, which shows me... Um, What's well, uh, you know, obviously it's 50 50, it's pretty self explanatory. And I'm just going to select one of these randomly, happen to get it correct. Um, I don't know any of these actually. I'm going to go with Ron Dural, which I no, that was definitely not in. Jack Nicholas, dang it. Okay, so obviously, you know, you get the format here, they ask a question. Um, and then from here, you uh, simply select one of the answers from the little choice that's along the bottom. Um, and then you uh, continue to pick answers as you go along. So obviously it's multiple choice. Um, all right, I should have just a few more left and then we can talk a little bit more specifically about it. So you're getting a really good look at this, I guess. <laughs> um, if that makes you, uh, if, it, if it gives you something else to look at, I'm sorry for the, the slowness of it then of this um, Duke, Duke Ellington. Four in a row, there we go. Now I'm done. And then it upgrades my IQ just a little bit because that's the uh, second round that I've played and I get a little bit more of a bonus. So that is the, all of uh, what you're looking at. That is the main game mechanic. That is how it works. Um, of course, you can leave a message for the other player if you'd like. You can do whatever else that you would like um, in between rounds and then you get a nice uh, review of your actual um, performance in app. So that's quite nice. All right, and from here I should have a button to get out of here, actually, but I don't see it. Um, uh, so we're just going to do this. We're going to very quickly while I talk about the uh, the value of the application. Trivial is, of course, free in this edition, which does come with ad support, um, which does sort of bother us. We're not a big fan of ads, uh, but at the same time, you're never going to really need to upgrade to the pro version. Um, 
And the reason for that is that you get all of the same features within Trivial Free, so the uh, the benefits of upgrading to the Pro are basically you get to support the developers and you get to remove adverts, so if that's something that you're looking forward to, uh, then go ahead and give it a go, there's no reason not to, it's fairly cheap. Um, but as far as the free version, which is the actual one that you were, we are, are reviewing here, obviously it's an incredible bargain being free, so uh, no complaints there. The gameplay itself is fresh, it's inviting, it's new, and as we mentioned, the layout, the interface itself is just absolutely polished, so no complaints there, it's actually better than anything else that we've seen thus far. So, at the end of the day, what do we think of Trivial? We think it's easily one of the best online trivia games out there, which means that we're going to give it a 4.5 out of 5 star rating for the polish that it shows, as well as for the value that it is. And essentially, that's what we have to say about it. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and sign out, but we will see you guys later. Bye.